Okay, I just got in my Goal Zero Yeti MPPT Solar Charging Optimization Module. And uh, this is what it looks like. And it's got two eight millimeter ports that can take 150 watts in each one. Then it's got the Anderson Power Pole ports here. And um, this can, it didn't say what, how many watts you could put in it, but it does say that you can put up to 14, between 14 and 22 volts. I'll show you the back of the box. I think it's the back of the box. No, it's back here. It says, yeah, the power pole charging port it says 14 to 22 volts. It also says that, um, that the Goal Zero Yeti 1000 at max input is three and a half hours of charging time. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to install this thing really quick. And there is my Goal Zero. And I do have two charging uh, bricks, that's what I wanna call them. But um, here's the one that comes with it, and it has the um, the regular household plug. Anyway, what this has, it's got six. Let me see if I can get this up closer. It's got six screws in it, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them in there. Let's see if I can put this back down. And it's got a little trap door here. So if you just spin this, and pick it up you'll see right here that there's a place there for this thing let me see if I can get this right there we go so it's got a positive and a negative and down here it says negative and positive so it would go in this way although this can only go in one way because it's got a flat spot here I don't know if you can see it but it's flat on this side this side is not so it's not gonna let it go in the wrong way, so don't worry about that. This is a data transfer cable. I don't know what, it, what type of data it's transferring, but it also has a little slot in here for it. So the thing is that you have to take this out first, this whole little thing here, and then put this in. So I've already taken out the, four, the six screws that'll go here. And so all you do is just pick it up and slide it out, and it slides out that easy. Let me see if I can, there you go. You just, you just pick it up and slide it out. Now what you get is you get four, what you get in your package, you get these four screws here with your package. And remember I told you I took out these screws earlier, here's a couple of them. But you can see the difference in lengths. These are the old screws because there's no thickness here at all. There's no thickness so they don't have to go through so much plastic. So that's why they're shorter. All I'm going to do with those is keep them and put them in this bag that these longer screws came in and put them with, with, the, uh, with this cover and put them in the box for safekeeping. So, um, let's see. Okay, so all you have to do is put all this in here. And I'm going to see if I can get this right. So this is going, I'm going to try to put this in first. No, I'm going to put this one in first. The data transfer cable in first. It's kind of hard. It'll give you a lot of room to work with. Okay, that's in. And I'm going to put in this cable here. And you just slide this one in. You just slide them in just like regular until they don't go anymore. And then this goes in just like that. All this has to fit in this little cubby hole here. It's about five eighths of an inch deep. So if you just kind of like push it in there, it goes in there quite easily. And then it just sits there. There you go. And you'll take these four screws that they give you and you'll put them in here. Okay, I put all the four screws in these. One, two, three, and I'm gonna tighten down this last screw here. Okay, now all these are tightened. So all I'm gonna do is put this stuff back together. This is the one that came off of there. Put the cover back on here so I don't lose it. And turn this dial here so it stays on there. And then I'll put the four screws up. Okay, so now that we have this on here, I can take this 
And I'm gonna move this and show you what type of power we get with just using um, the power straight from the wall outlet. And then I'm gonna take it out to my truck and put in um, my solar panel into this. I'm gonna see if I've got a connection that takes me from my solar panel. No, I don't. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway, I'll do that next time. I'll get a Anderson port connector to the eight millimeter port. I don't have one of those connections, so maybe next time. But anyway, I'll once after we finish with this, I'll go back out to the truck and put the um, the solar panel on it. We can see what happens when I use it on the PWM controller that's built in, and then I'll add it to the um, MPPT controller that we just installed. So let's see if this thing really does make a difference. Okay, here we are. I've got it plugged into the wall outlet and it's going straight into this, into this and into the um, eight millimeter plug up here. And it's, and we have 60 watts of power coming in. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out of here. I'm gonna take it out of here. And I'm gonna put it here. I just wanna know, I just, I'm curious if whether or not this one here is different from the one up, up on top. Hmm. No, same thing. So we're getting 60 whether I put it in here or if I put it in here. Now, um, I've got another one of these. So what I could do is put this one, you know, I could take this off of here and I can put it back where it was. This is if I was charging at home and had electricity and I wanted to charge this really quickly. I could put it in here and then I could put this one here. I can put this one in here and put another AC cord in here and plug it into the top one. And I could probably get be getting 120 watts in here at once. So instead of like taking 18 hours to, uh, to charge from zero, it would take only like nine hours. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it into the MPPT controller. And we'll see what happens. Notice this is the only thing that's blue and we still have zero here. It'll light up blue and blue and then we'll get a reading. Now it's gone through the system I'm thinking what the data switch cable does, um, that it actually gives this information to tell the, these two M, uh, PM, PWM controller to turn on so they can put the data here. I don't know, but that's the only thing I can think of because of, because of that delay that just happened. But anyway, you can see we're getting about 70, an average of 70 watts. It went from 69 to 70, so let's just say it's 70 watts to 71. So you get an extra 10 watts of uh, power coming in by using this. Now, goal zero is claiming that you get 40% more. I don't think that's 40% more, you know. Uh, it's barely, probably like, I don't know, I'm not going to do my math real quick, but 13 or 14% more. So it's pretty far off. Uh, than what we get with the standard PWM controller. So you're going to have to figure out whether or not you want to spend the $80 to get that. If you're just going to be charging through the wall, you're going to be charging through the wall. I don't think I would just, I would get this. Because uh, you could, you could double your power just by buying an extra brick. And these aren't that expensive. You know, you just buy another one of these and put that in there and you're done. And, uh, but anyway, I think we're going to see a, a significant difference that may justify buying one of these when we go out and see what the solar panels will do. Just out of curiosity, I want to see what's going to happen if I move it from here to here. For some reason, we're still fluctuating from 70, 68 to 71. So I'm going to take it out of here. And you know what? I think that I only see the fluctuations happen when it is on this action, this MPPT controller. Yeah, I think it's something within this, but we'll see. So I'm gonna take it off of here. 
and let that reset to zero. And anyway, watch for the delay on this. I think this is the data transfer thing. This is already blinking. This is on. Now these two will probably come on in unison before this starts reading. You can probably see it all on the screen right now. See, I think that's the data transfer uh, cord thing. And I'm bringing in 71. 72. See how it keeps going back and forth and back and forth? So you're looking at so the same thing, 10 or 11 uh, more watts per hour. There is my truck that I have my 165 watt solar panel on. If you've seen my other videos and you'll see that I've got this, uh, this um, wire, this 10 gauge wire that goes into my truck. I have it routed from underneath my truck, and I've got it going to a um, goal zero Anderson port um, splitter or combiner. Combiner. So you can put four of these, and it goes into one. So right now I just have one, and I kind of have this to where it has electrical tape on it to make sure it doesn't come apart. This is what I use when we go. Um, when we travel in my truck. Anyhow, this is, I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully, there we go. If I get in the, we're not, we don't have any input right now. So I'm gonna put it in, the Anderson port in on the PWM controller. Let's see if we can get this thing in there correctly. It's hard to do with one hand. Oh, come on, there we go. Okay, that's in there. We've got to wait a little while for this to turn blue. There it goes. Just turn blue. And as you can tell, the most I've gotten out of this is maybe like 97. Right now it's coming in at, I don't know if you can see that or not, 97 watts. And that's 97, 98. That's pretty good. 98 watts. So using this, it would take um, about 10 hours. I would say 10 or 11 hours using the 165 watt panel. But you see we're losing about 60, 65 to 70 watts off of the panel. Okay, so I'm gonna take it off Down of this here now. and put it in the new one, this one. And see what we get ready to pull out here. Where are we at? Um, Trying to see if we're going to reach 115 or not. Looks like 113. So not quite 20 extra watts. We're taking what, maybe 17. Maybe 17 extra watts. I don't know if that's, you know, if that's really going to be worth it. I'm going to have to watch this a little bit more. Because PWM, I was pulling in 95. Over here, I'm only pulling in... Was it 9,500? 16 extra watts? No, well, it's not great. Now I think maybe if it hit like 125 or something, 115, 125, because remember I said I had a 165 watt solar panel up there and uh, it's just not pulling it in. I'm gonna go up there and clean it and see what happens. Cause right now I'll show you what's up here. Oh, it's got a lot of pollen. We have, I don't know if you can see that, but in that corner, there's lots of pollen right there in that corner. But the rest of it just looks like it's got dust. So I'm gonna clean that corner and see what happens. But again, you know, it's partly cloudy, so 
and we're only still pulling in 110. That's just 15. Takes 15 extra watts. Okay, the best I can tell right now, I'm getting about 20 more watts coming in through the MPPT controller than I am with the PWM controller. So, yeah, I guess it'll it'll do. I won't be able to tell. I may do an update video on it, but we don't have so many clouds in the sky. When I thought clouds, I was thinking rain clouds. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow here, so um, it won't be for a while that I'll do an update. But as of right now, I'm look. I'm the most I've seen is about 20 extra watts. It's gone up to about 120, and I've never seen it to go past 100 um, on on the PWM side. Well, 101. So, um, and I think that's about it.